Hi there and welcome back to our channel. In 2022, when Thailand had just reopened under the sandbox scheme, we already visited the gorgeous Thale Noi Lake in Patalung. Two years ago, we were almost the only foreign tourists. Actually, the only tourists at all. Now, we wanted to see whether tourism has recovered in 2024. Break it down. It's a little bit busier than two years ago. Yes, a little bit busier, but still okay. Not so many people yet. So, we arrived late in the afternoon. And because we knew from the last time, you should really visit this lake at sunrise. At that time of the day, it is not yet too hot and you will find the lotus flowers at their best. So we decided to check out our hotel first and come back tomorrow, very early at sunrise. Just to feel more light Overcast wasn't overdone What we needed was to overcome Rainy days never felt so nice We discovered this small hotel online and immediately fell in love with the gorgeous views. All green rice fields. On Google Maps you'll only find the Thai name of this hotel. But in English it should be something like this. Idin Klina at Huapa. To make it a bit easier to find, we'll leave the link in the description below. Now back to the hotel. It is very convenient that all houses are on stilts and that you can park your car under your room. The rooms are not too big, only 20 square meters, but they all have air conditioning fridge, kettle, TV and a good shower. They also have a big refreshing pool and are building some additional more modern rooms next to it. We paid around 1000 baht and this rate actually included breakfast. Unfortunately, we didn't have the chance to try this, because we left very early to catch the sunrise at the lake. It is still about 20 kilometers from the hotel to Talenoi. Hazelnut 
Swiss chocolates, cookie and cream. Meet our skipper for today. This man took our wishes so much into account and gave us all the time we needed to film and take pictures. We paid him around 500 baht for one hour. Talenoi is definitely something you have to visit when you're in the south of Thailand. The lake was declared a non-hunting area in 1975 and covers an area of around 457 square kilometers. It is a very significant wetland area in Thailand and covers areas in three different provinces, Patalung, Songkla and Akonsi Tamarat. It is famous for its pink lotus flowers and water buffaloes. But it is also the home of many other species of waterfowls, reptiles and mammals. To witness the sea of blooming pink lotus flowers, you have to come early in the morning.
Thank you.